In this video, I will share with you which foods are the healthiest. But first off, I want to make it clear that it is not going to be any type of processed food. I am not aware of a single type of food that is both processed and healthy. So candy, pizza, refined meat, all of these are horrible for you. The healthiest type of food also is not going to be refined grain. So white rice, for example, might have its benefits, but it is nowhere close to the benefits of other whole foods. And things like white bread and white pasta have no place in your diet. You can have them from time to time, just be aware that they are not healthy for you at all. Some people believe that dairy is healthy, but I question that. Around 75% of the total population has a lactose intolerance, meaning they do not tolerate lactose well. I am one of these 75% and I would have no chance of finding it out if I didn't get my genes tested, because you will not necessarily feel the negative effects in immediately, they are more of a long-term problem. Long-term, lactose has the power to destroy your gut completely. And it's not only about lactose, the same goes for casein protein. And even if I was to tolerate both of these well, I would still avoid dairy. And that is even if it was the most sustainable food for the planet, which it is not. The main health problem I find with dairy is that it has the most bioavailable amino acids out there. That's why whey protein and casein protein powders are the most popular protein powders on the market. They are super good for building muscle, not so good for longevity. These protein powders, as well as dairy, will most likely decrease your lifespan. The way you can partially protect yourself from the bad effects is by exercising. And if you are very active, then dairy is not gonna be that big of a problem. With that said, it certainly is not gonna be the most beneficial type of food either. Though I gotta say it has its benefits. Calcium is one of them, vitamin K2 is another one, it overall is a pretty nutritious food. But the only type of dairy I would consider eating is grass finished kefir. That one by the way is awesome. I used to be a huge fan of eggs, I still am not against them, but they wouldn't be the number one food. They are pretty nutritious as far as B vitamins and many minerals, but they kinda lack antioxidants. And if you look at the big picture, eggs really are no better than for example grains, despite the fact that eggs have way more B vitamins. And by the way, I don't say these things because I'm a vegan. I actually am not sure if a vegan diet is optimal as far as health for most people. It's just that eating a lot of these animal foods is not gonna make you thrive unless you have really weird genes. And muscle meat also is not gonna be the most beneficial type of food out there. Structure-wise, it is very similar to eggs. When it comes to liver, however, liver is without a single dub the most nutrient-dense food on the planet. And if you have a severe vitamin B12 or vitamin A or iron deficiency, liver could actually be the best food for you. With that said, you can also prevent these deficiencies with supplements, which is how I personally would go about it because I care a lot about the environment and them animals. But if you are not willing to take supplements, make sure to eat at least 4 ounces of liver per week. I don't know about your country, but in Czech Republic, liver is super cheap, so you wouldn't support the meat industry that much. And if you know an ethical farmer, that would be even better. Whole grains also are not gonna be the best. They are not bad for you, and I myself get maybe 1600 calories a day from grains. They can be pretty good for you, and they actually are very nutritious if you go for the good ones. But even then, even if you go for oats or quinoa or barley groats which are all amazing they will not be the best food out there and i encourage you to be careful when it comes to whole grains like whole wheat or brown rice if you are very serious about health and your diet is already pretty decent then these will do more harm than good legumes are perhaps the most studied food group out there and the results are very supportive there are many studies that show that people who eat legumes live for way longer than people who don't. One caveat is that some people just can't tolerate legumes at all, despite the fact that they are preparing them well, despite the fact that they soak them or even sprout them and ferment them. If you prepare your legumes well, then there is almost no chance that you will react poorly to them. With that said, many people's guts are not equipped for handling so many lectins at once. It's a minority, 
I just want to put that in there so that you don't eat legumes if they make you feel horrible. Because in that case, I believe you should avoid them. Or at least limit how many of them you are eating. If you are a vegan, I encourage you to eat a lot of legumes, especially if you are very active. Fruits not only are very tasty, but they also are incredibly good for you. I used to believe that they are bad because they have a lot of fructose in them and sugar overall. And because they aren't that nutritious, they don't have many vitamins and minerals in that. That is true, but if you look at the big picture and you look at all the studies about fruits, you will find out that they are very positive for your health. That is because of all the antioxidants in them and all the beneficial acids. When it comes to fruits, it generally is the case that the smaller the better. So for example, a big apple is gonna be less beneficial than a small apple because the small apple has more skin and the skin is where most of the antioxidants and the beneficial compounds are at. With that said, be careful with something like unorganic apples because the skin also can hold on to many pesticides. But berries appear to be the most beneficial type of fruit. Blueberries and blackberries are the best, especially if they are wild. And berries could actually be considered the best type of food. But veggies might be even better. I analyzed hundreds if not thousands of nutrition and health gurus and all the reliable ones, they all agree that vegetables are awesome. And they all make sure to add at least a few cups of them into their diet. Vegetables have by far the most nutrients per calorie. And it is true that some of the nutrients can be not so bioavailable when they are found in veggies, but that doesn't make them a bad source of vitamins and minerals at all. And looking at the big picture, veggies seem to have almost no if any side effect except for heavily sprayed leafy greens and what is amazing about veggies is that they are amazing for weight loss because they are almost purely water they have no calories whatsoever and they are very filling therefore they will satiate your hunger without making you fat and all the plant compounds in them are awesome so veggies would probably be the best food group but there is one that is even better. Before we get to that one, I also want to mention nuts and seeds. There is a big debate on whether or not nuts and seeds are healthy and overall I am positive that they are. The only problem with nuts and seeds and stuff is that they are very high in calories. It's not necessarily a problem, especially if you are trying to gain weight, but if you are trying to lose weight, they might not be that helpful. Before we get to the best food group, I want to make it clear that it is not the best to only eat one type of food. There are people who only eat fruits for example. Is it better than the standard American diet? For sure it is. Is it optimal? Hell no. If you were to only eat legumes, your gut would not handle that unless you are super gifted. And if you only were to eat vegetables, you would probably die because of not getting enough calories. So it's good to combine all of these food groups so that you also get enough of all the nutrients. The number one food group are herbs and pretty much every single herb out there has some specific benefit. But the best ones I can think of right now are gonna be turmeric, ginseng and ashwagandha. These seem to be the most beneficial although things like ginger and rosemary also are great. So every month I make this big blend of herbs and I eat a lot of them every day. If you combine all the best foods that I talked about, I can guarantee you that you will live for a very long time and feel awesome. I love you, thank you very much for watching and share the video if you want to.